Hello, I'm Spade. I've occasionally been doing these videos where I go over resources for new players as they try to get into Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And rather than showing you a bunch of web pages like I have in the past, I thought I'd do something a little more interesting. So I tracked down Frouche from The Go Show and dragged him into an interview. Here it is. Okay, so I'm in game with Frouche from The Go Show. Uh, that's thegoshow.tv. Uh, thanks for dropping into Mirage with me, Frouche. <laughs> Happy to do it, man. So first, why don't you tell me a little bit about what The Go Show is? Well, actually, I mean, The Go Show is a lot of different things. Um, it started out just as an idea that I had with uh, Solitude. Um, who I refer to in a lot of the videos as Dustin, it's just by habit, but um, his tag is Solitude. And we just had an idea to kind of do some some tutorial videos and stuff, just because when Go first came out and it was in the beta stages, there weren't a lot of people making videos. There was pretty much Hatton, and I think Wizenhunt was doing a couple of videos during the beta process saying, you know, this should be changed and this should be changed, stuff like that. So there wasn't a lot out there, and I thought that, you know, we could add something to the community, and we could kind of help out. So we just started out doing videos and stuff like that, um, just doing really simple simple tutorial stuff, I guess, stuff that we knew that was kind of second nature for us, because we had been playing since, like, 1.3, 1.1, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But then it kind of expanded and grew, and we started playing with other guys. So at this point, the Go Show is three different competitive teams, um, one of them are, is going to be in SIVO, and the other two are going to be in ESEA Season 14. And uh, the rest of the Go Show is uh, pretty much content on YouTube and our website right now. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. That's very cool. So the whole idea, the whole idea was basically to be doing helpful tutorials for, do you think, beginner level or uh, intermediate, or what was your target there? Uh, at, at first, it was to get people into playing competitively. So guys that, uh, that wanted to get into Counter-Strike Global Offensive and not just be a pug where, you know, or not just be a pub, rather, where you're just death, death matching all the time or playing arms race or something like that. Uh, we wanted people to kind of get into the competitive scene because for me that's what Counter-Strike is. It's the competitive scene. I understand that a huge part of our community is about uh, the casual part of it, but for me Counter-Strike is competitive. That's what, that's what keeps me playing this game for 10 plus years. So we, we, it was really just for more people looking to get into the competitive side of it, just the basic stuff for them. Yeah, that's really cool. It's funny because I, I played Counter-Strike, um, I started playing when it was like beta 3-1 and the the gun stayed on the ground at the end of the round, which was ridiculous. <laughs> and um, But I never played it competitively until like literally three months ago. Like it never even really occurred to me. I just played on pub servers and oh, really? um, just kind of screwed around. Um, so it's like every, every frag I ever got in Counter-Strike up until a couple months ago was basically a complete accident with the MP5. <laughs> um, and uh, so it was really cool when I sort of, when I ran into your show, um, because it laid out some some basic tactics and some basic basic movement ideas that I think are really helpful, and it was a, a really cool resource for me. So um, I thought that was pretty neat. And so for so for other people who are thinking of checking it out, it's uh, YouTube slash The Go Show. It's YouTube.com slash CSGO E Show. Uh, we originally just put CSGO e show. CSGO e show, but we changed it around and, and decided that the Go show sounded a little bit better. So, okay, so let's say in the spirit of doing tutorials and and you know helping folks out who are really trying to uh, enter Counter Strike as a competitive game for the first time, what do you, what do you think is like the first uh, first thing you would advise them to to th to start thinking about as they pick up the game, right? Like, like, let's say they're familiar with shooters in general. Maybe they've played Battlefield or Call of Duty or, you know, just they kind of, they get the whole, that whole thing. And maybe they've played a little, you know, on some public servers or just done some, you know, play with friends, deathmatch, something like that. But they really want to try, okay, I want to do this competitive thing. Wh what's the What's the first thing they should start paying attention to as they're playing competitive? Well, honestly, um... I would say things that give them an advantage over other players that's not aim. I think that p 
people put a huge emphasis on aiming and hitting your shots and flicking and muscle memory and uh, and just uh, you know hitting your shots and recoil and controlling your gun and stuff like that and buying and obviously those things are all really important um, but I think that if you're first starting out that those types of things with practice will come to you so death matching will help out your aim and death matching and sitting in a server and spraying up against the wall will help you control uh, those you know the recoil and things like that help you learn those things but that comes with time so if you're getting into competitive play I think that the first thing that you really want to learn is uh, getting good at your movement and understanding angles in the game. So I guess I'll just try to give you an example. Um, if we go to B real quick here, sorry. No problem. So let's say for example I'm playing CT, which I am, and I have a teammate that is sitting uh, maybe jail over here, right? So <clears throat> my responsibility, and, and he's going to be sitting right here, he's not going to leave himself vulnerable to uh, Cat. And my responsibility is to make sure that the guys from Cat don't push in, but I also have a responsibility to, uh, to help out when people are pushing apartments, right? So it's important for me to understand where my body is, where my character is in the game, so that A, I have a good angle on the guys that are coming from apartments, but I'm not leaving myself vulnerable to the guys on a cat. So a lot of a lot of younger, uh, it's not a, a lot of younger, a lot of newer players are not aware of where they are or where they're going to get hit from and things like that. So it's an, if, sure. if I were playing this spot right here, I would be, you know, very aware that I'm not uh, leaving myself vulnerable, like not sitting right here, but sitting right inside this, and then I'm going to peek Behind it. the pillar, yeah. Right, behind the pillar, and I'm going to peek it. If no one's there, I'm going to start peeking cat, but I want to make sure that I'm not leaving myself vulnerable to apartments at the same time. So it's just things very like that. Cool. You be very aware of where you are and where you're going to be hit from next. I think when I watch newer players, I really see them leaving themselves vulnerable to getting hit from certain angles, and then it becomes a frustration for them because nobody likes getting shot in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I do that, actually. I get shot in the back plenty. I'm probably... Uh, angles is something i got to work on. That's a really cool tip. Thanks very much, Frush. Thanks for uh, doing the interview. Yeah, dude. Thank you very much.